morning, guys. This is the weekend we adopted Lizzie. And so we want to, and she kind of has a rough story. I guess later we should probably explain Lizzie's story, but not right now. Because I want to explain what this vlog is going to be all about. It's going to be about Lizzie and giving her the best weekend ever. Because this is a weekend we adopted her last year, so it's been a whole year. And now we know her a little better and we just want to let her have the best time ever. This is what Lizzie's doing right now and she does not know I'm home yet. So to start off the best weekend ever, let's go outside and show her I'm home and see how excited she gets. We just gave Lizzie a bath, so Shannon's just finishing up brushing her, and in a second, we're going to go take her on one of her favorite things. Going on a car ride! guys we're back from Lizzie's drive on a scenic route she super enjoyed it and now me and Joe are going to make her a cake birthday cake we found this recipe online that's what it looks like it's kind of hard because the screen obviously but it's a peanut butter and pumpkin and oatmeal basically so we got all the ingredients and now we're going to go make the cake Oh 
she's eating it right away. I thought she would take a while. She'll get it. No, break it up for her so she knows. Get it so she knows. Just, yeah, you gotta break it up. There. There you go. There you go. That's better. <laughs> there you go. Yes. <laughs> now you let me know. Now watch the dish. Yeah, no she'll be fine. She She's being very gentle. Oh wow! Oh, is it? <laughs> oh my is god! It fall off? <laughs> I hope she doesn't get sick. <laughs> Birthday cakes you've had in your little lifetime. It's a bites. dog, Sam. Get the dish, please. That's enough. With her? That's enough. She... She's not gonna open it up. <laughs> Ready? It's not. It's not food. She's looking. She's like, I want the cake. She's looking for food. Here you go. Okay. Is, is that a toy? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't want that time. I can't believe she ate the whole thing. There's not even anything there now. She's just like a sister. All right, guys. So now we're going to tell you the story of basically Lizzie, how we adopted her, and the state she was in when we adopted her, and why we adopted her, and all of that. So to start... And, and her story is, like, super sad. Yeah, it is really sad. But that's okay, because now she's with us, and we give her all the love she needs. So to start, the reason why Cheyenne's family got the dog was because they had another dog named Pepper, and she was getting super old, and so they just wanted to find um, a new dog so that Pepper would feel kind of happy and upbeat and stuff. And it worked. And it did work. But then Pepper passed away... And it was kind of a good thing we had Lizzie because then whenever we came into the backyard, it wasn't really lonely. Like, Lizzie was there and she could make us happy. Also, Pepper was also, like, the guard dog for the whole all the animals. So she was getting super old, so they needed to get a new dog anyways. So Lizzie is a good young dog to have yep. around. So there was a pet fair at, happening at our local fairgrounds. And... They had so many dogs there. We decided just to go because we love animals and it'd be fun. And also we were like, if we find a dog, then great, we'll adopt it. But only if we find the perfect one and it would fit in our family and all of that stuff. So we were walking around. We went the first day. Yeah, we went the first day it that it was days. open. And I saw this really cute bulldog looking dog named Huckleberry and I was like oh my gosh this dog's so cute oh, yeah, I, I love this dog he's so cute and so we pet him and then we followed the the person the handler over to their booth and the booth was called adoptables and he was so cute but then I think we walked away or something and came back and we saw that he was getting adopted yeah so we're like oh we can't have him that was a puppy right no no Huckleberry was like a big one we saw the puppy the second day oh, okay but so, basically, we went back, and we saw Huckleberry was getting adopted, and then we see Lizzie this time. But kind she was of in the back. In the corner, yeah. In a cage, because... She was on drugs, because here's the sad part. She had just had puppies so, removed from her stomach, because they were dead. And so they, she had just had surgery, got them removed, and... She was on drugs. Was fixed, and then had to be on drugs, and... We were like, oh, she's so sweet. And she also, she was so skinny. She was dirty. Her her teeth, her milk. What, what should we call uh, those? Were the babies. The milk part of her, her teeth, her udder, her. Yeah, they look like udders. They were her. hanging, like almost dragging on the ground. They still do hang a little bit, but not as much as when. She was in a very rough state. Oh, and then where, where she came from. Is where she came from is uh, in Stockton, California. Yeah, and if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a... It's a super rough area. Yeah, rough. In Northern California. We weren't really sure if we wanted her because she was a pit bull and... They have all... Pit bulls have bad reps. Bad reps. And we we have farm animals here that... Chickens, outdoor cats, goats that we need to protect. And so we were kind of scared. 
So we didn't get her the first day. We didn't get any dog the first day. We didn't really like any dogs. And so the first day a bunch of dogs did get adopted and so the second day they were bringing more dogs. So we went to go look at more dogs. And my secret motivation was to go get Lizzie because I felt so bad for this poor dog and she was so sweet and nice. I was like, we have to get, adopt her. No one else is gonna adopt her. She looked ugly, skinny, <laughs> not good. So, and all the other dogs there were like cute and healthy and Lizzie was the, I mean, there were, the outsider. There were some that were a lot worse than her, like super old ones, but. Yeah, but they weren't like unhealthy. I mean, there were, uh, anyways. Anyways, so we found Another, my mom found a different dog there that she wanted. It was a dog from Mexico and it was super sweet and super cute and there was a bunch of other people who were looking at it too and wanted to adopt it. And I was like, my, while my mom was talking to the lady about that dog, I walked back over to Adoptables and I was looking around and then I see Lizzie was back in a crate back in the back area and I went over to her and I was talking to her and I was like, we have to adopt this one. I was like, we have to get Lizzie. No one's looking at her. No one wants to adopt her. The other dog from Mexico had a bunch of ladies wanting to pet it and adopt it, but Lizzie had no one wanting her. And it was already the second day and it was approaching to be the end of the day and she still hadn't been adopted and basically all the other dogs had been adopted. So... <laughs> I was like, Mom, we have to get Lizzie. So I ran back over to her before she could do anything with the other dog. And I was like, Mom, we have to, like, please just come look back at Lizzie. Like, we need to get Lizzie. So we went back over there and I convinced her to adopt Lizzie. So that's how we adopted Lizzie. She had a rough start and she was on a lot of drugs when we adopted her. So we had to do a lot of training with her when we got her home get her used to all the farm animals and now you guys see in our clips that when we let the goats loose she She's just fine. totally sits there wagging her tail if anything the goats are afraid of her but Lizzie's like oh I want to be your friend except she's except her and Halsey the brown one get along really well yeah she her and Halsey like each other so yeah we're just really happy we were able to adopt Lizzie and give her the best day ever and a much better life than wherever she was at before Lizzie. 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 You want a treat? Good girl. That's pretty much it for today's vlog. If you like this video, drop us a like, leave us a comment, and if you're new, subscribe. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Ow! <laughs> that has to go in the end. <laughs>